Okay, so in this video, we're going to outline a strategy for solving linear congruences AX is congruent to B mod N, and then we'll look at an example. Uh, okay, good. So maybe the first part of the strategy is to notice that A is invertible modulo N um, if and only if the GCD of A and N equals 1. Good. And in that case, you can solve AX plus BY, sorry, plus NY equals 1. And this value of X is A inverse. Because if you look at this equation, modulo N, you have AX is congruent to 1 mod N. So we might as well call X A inverse. So that's the first thing to notice. So if A is invertible mod N, you can just multiply by the inverse. Good. So that's one thing. So the next thing is if you have uh, CA is congruent to CB mod N, this is equivalent to saying that A is congruent to B mod N divided by the GCD of C and N. Okay. Good. So in other words, you can cancel the C, but you don't land in the same uh, modular space, right? So obviously if N equals 1, you do land in the same modular space. Um, and that has to do with uh, something over here, but otherwise uh, you don't. Good. So this is uh, uh, one result that's important. Okay, good. Uh, so the next one is the following. So number three, AX is congruent to B mod N has a solution if, if and only if. Okay, so if and only if uh, the GCD of A and N divides B. Okay, good. So that uh, determines when there is a solution. Um, okay, great. And then the next thing is if AX is congruent to B mod N has a solution, in other words, if the GCD of AN uh, divides B, then there are GCD of AN solutions separated by N over the GCD of A and N. Okay, good. So now let's clean up the board and we'll look at an example of a couple of these strategies in play. Okay, so we'll look at the following linear congruence. So 12x is congruent to 16 mod 32. So we'll talk through the strategies that were previously on the board. So 12 is not relatively prime to 32. In other words, their GCD is not 1, so we can't just find a multiplicative inverse of 12. Um, good, but we see that um, the GCD of 12 and 32 equals 4, and 4 divides 16, so there is a solution. Good, so that means we can continue, there is a solution. And furthermore, there are GCD of 12 uh, and 32, so there are four solutions separated by 32 divided by 4, which equals 8. Okay, fantastic. So we boiled it down to the fact that there are four solutions, each separated by 8.
So, now finding the first solution, we'll use some tricks that were on uh, the previous board. So, what we want to first do is maybe factor this out. We can write this as 4 times 3x equals 4 times 4 mod 32. Okay, good. And this is really good because this allows us to decrease the number that we're working uh, modulo with respect to. So this means that 3x is congruent to 4 mod 32 divided by the GCD of 32 and 4, which is 4. So that is congruent to 4 mod 8. So we have 3x is congruent to 4 mod 8. That's equivalent to this. Well, that's not equivalent to this, but if we solve this, then we have solved this linear uh, congruence. Okay, good. Now what we notice is that 3 is relatively prime to 8, so that means 3 has an inverse modulo 8. Now we can use the extended Euclidean algorithm to find this inverse, but since 8 is pretty small, we can guess and check. So 3 times 2 is 6, that's not 8. Sorry, that's not 1 mod 8. 3 times 3 is 9, which is 1 mod 8. So what we can do is take this whole linear congruence, multiply by 3, and we'll get 3 times 3 is 9, which is 1 mod 8, which means we get x is congruent to 12 mod 8, which is congruent to 4 mod 8. Good. So that means that we have one solution, x is congruent to 4 mod 32. Good. And now we know that there should be four solutions, each separated by 8. So our next one will be x is congruent to 12 mod 32. x is congruent to 20 mod 32, and finally x is congruent to 28 mod 32. And there are our four solutions.